Welcome back. Don't get mad because today is the limited edition Lollapalooza. So as you can see, we're on a roll. We are just filming, 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 and pumping out the videos. As I stated earlier, um, probably several videos back now, um, we're back. We're back, so subscribe, make sure you set up the alerts because at least every other day or so, we are trying to have a video launch for your viewing pleasure. Today, I'm bringing you limited edition Lollapalooza and it's just gonna be real chill. I actually have about 11 or so, 10 or 11 products that we're just gonna kinda talk through. They are limited edition some of them may or may not be be available still but you know when we get there we'll talk about it just trust me trust me on this one but let's get my feedback and in the comment section let's get your feedback and while you're down there subscribe hit that subscribe button while you're down there and that way you can keep up so let's just jump right into it grab a snack Get your Starbucks, whatever you need, because we are about to rock and roll. First and foremost, I love me some Hello Kitty. I am a huge fan. I think it's like super cute. I do not really like cats in real life. I'm a doggy. I have a puppy or some puppies. We have two puppies, Jill and I. We kind of share them. Um, but this is a limited edition Hello Kitty gift set. And this here is the soft lips as you can see there were or is um four of the lip balms and they're the little square lip balms and i actually liked these uh soft lip squares now the key to this is that this was i believe this was a target exclusive that's where i purchased mine and three of these which were the pink the purple and the red, which is like, the red was an apple, the purple was probably some sort of grape, and uh, the pink, I think, was a strawberry banana. The blue one was exclusive to this kit, and the blue one was some kind of cupcake surprise uh, flavor. Yeah, sweet cupcake. Look, if I would've just read the back, I could've cheated, right? But I'm sitting here trying to guess with you all. No worries, we still cool. So, anywho, these were $3.39 singly. Or you got the whole package for $10. So, all of these were limited edition, but again, the Sweet Cupcake was exclusive. So, I grabbed this. Some of these flavors I've still seen in Target. Like, the red one I've still seen and the purple one. Just as recent as like within the last week or so. So, it is limited edition. I'm not sure if you'll find this pack anymore, but you can certainly still find possibly some of the single ones. Again, they were $3.39 separate, sold separately, but the entire pack was $10. So, you know, this is my limited edition Lollapalooza, but it's kind of intertwined with a haul, but also kind of like a splurge or save because it's like buy three, get one free for that pack. So why wouldn't you, right? So that was Target. Now this right here, this next product is an oldie, but a goodie. Like this probably came out maybe even a year and a half ago or so. But I told you, my new, the my newly discovered brand is Makeup Forever. And this is the Makeup Forever Desire Me. This was with the 50 Shades of Grey when they launched, I think like, three exclusive limited edition like sets and this ended up being the oh see valentine's day 2015 see it says it right there so y'all you're thinking okay i know you stocked the sephora sales site but where did you get this i got this at tj maxx tj maxx i don't even remember how much this was um I guess I could have checked the blogs, but I didn't. I don't remember how much this was when it came, when it launched for uh, 2015 Valentine's Day, but I know that in December, I got this for like $22, and I don't think it was $22 um, when it launched at Sephora. But it came with a little, you know, 
unlock her healthy glow some looks basically like a little lookbook I mean makeup forever is great for giving you those types of things also everything came packaged in a little velveteen like you know sexy ish um, little pool tie bag and when you open it up oh there was this oh this is super cute so this is actually I guess like a charm that yeah that should have been on the outside of the bag and I haven't used any of these products so I told you no even though we haven't been filming we've still been hoarding <laughs> and purchasing so that's what I say I wanted to go ahead and get these kind of haul ish stuff done because I don't like to use stuff until I show you guys I'm like really big about that but then hopefully you'll see it in a review or a favorites or even a tutorial who knows so you open it up and clearly this it had been retaped it had like a security sensor on it all sorts of stuff but and it had been open so I checked the products to make sure that everything was in there as it should be and this was um the cheat trio so i guess one of the products yeah cheeky blush trio maybe either they were referring to this as the trio but it came with this oh my gosh and we know that at sephora to purchase three of these and this yeah you do the math but look how pretty those colors are there's like a highlight color which is um S748 and that it says that it's a blush on the back but it's really light so it would be a highlight color in my opinion and then the other two were eyeshadows but they call them cheeks um, or blushes or well, you can use them on your eyes or your cheeks girl do what you want but it's I808 and I526 so it is an artist eyeshadow palette. I'm so excited. I can't wait because I am totally loving Makeup Forever. Look at those colors, guys. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. And then it came, I'm not gonna be swatching and all that, y'all, or we'd be here forever. We're already gonna be here forever because it's, it seems like it's taking me forever. Because I have so many thoughts and opinions. And then a little, it's a 150W Makeup Forever Professional, uh, like, blush brush. How cute. I can't wait. So this allows me to try some more Makeup Forever shadows as well as a brush. So I'm really, really excited. Thank you, TJ Maxx, for having this when I went shopping. How much fun is that? It's a lot. So utterly excited about that so don't ever discredit the fact that you may or may not be able to get something that's limited edition that's what I'm telling you because really and truly these aren't limited edition colors and these are still available and you could purchase the three pack and you could make you a cheek trio steal so go for it the next two items I purchased when the bomb was having their 50% off heard excellent things about it about them so again for the low are these still available yes they actually are check uh, the bomb.com or even check Kohl's because Kohl's sells the bomb but this first one was the Manizer sisters and so we all know what they are they are in gel but not really because Mary Lou is the luminizer and Cindy Lou is the contour artist and then Betty Lou is the bronzing bandit so I have all of these I have these three in full size but again I've had them for a long time I've used them you've probably seen them in a favorites before but there you go there's your Mary there is your Cindy and then there is your Betty so I didn't mean to but I wanted to make sure I was showing you correctly and um, it looks to be like the same formula and everything. I think this was $28 or $29 and then half price. So I couldn't leave it on the website because this is perfect to travel, but it also makes a great gift. Like if you wanted to let someone try or if someone needed to try something like that or if they're you know a beginner getting into makeup or whatnot. So and then Emily Noel, I mean, this was part of her favorites um it was part of her emily awards etc 
but this was in the balm of your hand and again I have a ton of balm palettes I probably have every one that's been made but the most exciting so I probably have all of these in one form or fashion because we've already did a duplicate for the Mary Luminizer but to have it all in one palette that you could travel with and these are really colors that you could use I mean this was pretty amazing so as you can see you even have an instained blush you have hot mama you have some from the shady lady you have one from the bomb jovi these are for from the um that one is from the apples this one i think is actually one of their bomb girl lipsticks so you have a manifestation of a ton of different colors even a bronzer which is the bahama mama so you can get so much out of this palette and this palette i think was 39.50 or 39 dollars so half of that i mean it was a steal so when the bomb does have these sales um their website generally goes down they have issues with their website but they get that you know back in order and they're very good about because i wasn't able to get what i wanted originally and i tried and tried and so then they let me do like a back order thing and they honored it now you do have to pay like five dollars shipping or something but what is that in the grand scheme of things when you're getting 50 percent off so these two like i said on their website they're still available you could probably even still find them in kohl's or again all of these colors are still available because they're in their individual sets but is it worth the splurge on the limited edition sets definitely Lollapalooza approved so now is the big daddy stuff and this is the stuff from sephora and this is the stuff that um you know we'll just talk our way through it and we'll make it do what it do right first and foremost this kat von d lolita lip duo so i am finally you know getting into this whole liquid lipstick thing this duo i think were i think it was like 18 or 19 dollars i don't remember i got it as soon as it launched I don't have any, believe it or not, I don't have any full-size Kat Von D product um, in their liquid lipsticks. So I said, what the heck? Let's just try them. Let's see if I like the formula, if I like the colors, because I'm a more bold color girl. I don't really do a lot of the neutrals. Let's see, there we go. But, you know, here we go. Here's the two colors. I'm not going to, like I say, I'm not going to try to even get into swatches or anything. But I'll definitely be using these and let you guys and girls know. Was it worth it for the $19? For me, I would say yes. Because I don't know that I like these yet. So if I love them, then I may buy the full size. But this gives me an opportunity to try not only the formulation but the colors etc this is not still available this double pack is not still available it was limited edition but again the two colors are available in full size at sephora or sephora.com so there we have that in that same vein by beauty when by beauty comes out with a limited edition set of any sort grab it their products are phenomenal. I can attest through and through. I love their products. Their pigmentation is stellar. Their products are made with fine wine, honey. And so if you get it in your mouth, like if you eat off a little bit of it, when you're eating or drinking, it doesn't cause a problem. These are four of their pigment sticks. And um, these are full size, I believe, to be full size products yes and you get a range you can see you get a range of colors um this one is cafe and then what is this colas which is more of a rosy pink and then you also get tort which is more of your blushing pink and then finally you get aubergine which is this is a pretty popular color which is your vampy like burgundy purple color 
So how exciting is that? And this set, I believe, was either $32 or $34. Is it worth it? Definitely. Um, are these colors still available? I do believe so. I don't think that there were any limited edition or exclusive colors in this set. Um, so yeah, it doesn't say anything about. So yeah, you could probably, you know, still score them. But when Bite comes out with a limited edition set, Lollapalooza approved. The next one is this Becca and Jaclyn Hill um, palette. It came with, of course, her champagne pop, which is now permanent. So see, I had the large champagne pop, had never used it, so I took it back. I took it back and for the 30 something dollars, I got this because on this one, again, I probably will never use a full highlighter, but I got these three, which is the Press Pearl. At the time, it was, it, it was exclusive or it had not yet launched and since it has, you have your Champagne Pop and then you have Blush Copper, which is another limited edition color and I do have that one in the full size, but it has special packaging and I love it and I've already used it so I'm not bringing this back. It does have a full size mirror at the top. Each one of these pans is, each is .084. So, you know, the good thing about this is that you get to try three different colors in one palette. And again, the pearl and the champagne pop are permanent the blush copper is limited edition but you may or may not be able to get your hands on it so who knows in the same vein of um products that are highlighters and blushes and like face products is this hourglass ambient uh palette now hourglass is wonderful i love their products as well um their blush their magenta radiant magenta blush is one of my favorites they all of their products are not brown girl friendly but hey they are not they don't claim to be like uber illuminizing or anything they just make you feel like you glow from within so when they came out i have like the trio of their uh, powders so when they said that they were coming out with this six pan a lot of people were like uber excited about it until they figured out that the pans versus the amount of product and all this, it wasn't really worth it. And some people said no, and so they passed on it because this product I think was like 80 bucks. So some people passed on it, but I didn't because what's featured in here, which is the Dim Light Ambient Powder, I probably have that because that name sounds familiar. You get the iridescent light you get the diffuse light okay you also get mood exposure which is one of the blushes that i really like and so i was excited to get that and i don't have it you also get the luminous blush and then you get bronze light now bronze light probably won't work for me um as a bronzer but i would still be able to use it right so look at that. I mean, the colors are beautiful. And Hourglass, I mean, their, their quality is top notch. I mean, you when you say that you're getting an Hourglass powder, you know what kind of product you're getting. So for 80 bucks, it was worth the splurge for me because again, even if I bought the full size products, I probably would not use all of it so this gives me an opportunity it's travel friendly etc so and all of these products can be purchased separately now if you want to if you got that coin honey and you want to spend it that way be my guest the next item is i don't have a lot of this brand but it's buxom and this I got with the sell on sale. And so I've heard wonderful things. I've heard not so wonderful things about Buxom. But it's called the Look All You Want. It's, it was originally $40. It was a $112 value. It comes with their 
um, newest or maybe not their newest now, but it, their newest formulation and ways of putting together kind of do it yourself or build it on your own eyeshadows. So there are six eyeshadows, which is I don't mind the color range. It was really pretty. It was a eyeliner and a mascara. So by itself, if you go to get one of these six pan eyeshadow, buxom eyeshadows online, it's going to cost you 40 bucks. Even if you do like the build your own, it's going to cost you somewhere in the, the range of $40. So I got this, it was on sale for $29 and then I got it during the sale on sale, which you got to take an additional 20% off. So do the math, $29 minus 20% free fat free flash shipping because I'm VIB Rouge and boom I get to try this out so to me this is definitely worth it I mean this is limited edition Lollapalooza approved now I didn't go through to see if these different shades are limited edition or not but I wanted to show you this because although this set is no longer available, who knows, you may be able to find it in Sephora and JCPenney's or even on the Buxom website, but you can definitely still create and build your own shadow palettes as well as they still have some six pan pre-built palettes. And Buxom is new to Ulta, so see what they have on their website or in their stores. Who knows, they might've got an overstock and have some on sale. Girl, you never know. This next one is Benefit. Now y'all know I have a love-hate relationship with Benefit because I go through waves, right? And I liked their blushes and I really wanted their Rockateur and then I heard mixed reviews on it. I, you know, I've used their Porefessional before. I, you know, their real mascara and their real eyeliner just, you know, they're just okay for me but again when I saw this it's the real cheeky party it's a hundred and sixteen dollar value it was on retail priced for forty two dollars it does say limited edition so this was limited edition again push through Sephora push through because they had this on their sale when the sale site was on and it did have the it was there during the sale on sale so it was on sale for $32 and then I got the extra 20% off so for that price I couldn't leave it on the site I had to get it and then I got my free shipping I bought this in the buxom at the same time so if I can get it open I'm sure you've seen it like a million times over but I'll just show it to you since this is limited edition Lollapalooza. Okay, I love this. It's a tin container. It even has, you know, some raisedness about it. It's the blushing beauty kit is what it says. You open it up and there is no mirror. So just note that, but it's tin, so that's fine. You get a little cheeky party, you know, pamphlet on what you could or couldn't do with it. And then this is the big daddy. I love the Watts Up. And I have it in the stick formula. Again, deluxe size samples. I've never purchased it in the full size. But I do like the Watts Up. So this is neat to have. And it does have its own little top because it is a cream product. So it won't allow for as long as you have that down the powders won't mix there you do get a deluxe size of the their real mascara and the their real um, eyeliner you also get dandelion blush rockateur so i got my rockateur blush finally sugar bomb coralista and then hula bronzer everybody loves the hula bronzer so again with the amount of product in here and the fact that I'll probably never completely use all of these with all of the makeup flurry that I have, then I think this was a great splurge. All of these products you can buy individually, be my guest, but I love the fact that they all come together. Now, is this very travel friend friendly? Hmm, you be the judge. It is kind of thick. It's not super duper heavy, 
there was an overabundance probably of the side of the the packaging to the amount of product that's actually in here but hey i mean to have it sitting on your vanity and have that many different choices in one spot is great especially for the price point that i paid now last but certainly not least this probably is my favorite thing out of the whole video let me look around and make sure yes i said it this is probably my favorite thing and that yep you probably could have guessed the makeup forever 15 art artist shadow palette again i'm new to this makeup forever game and i have not let me repeat i have not purchased or created any of my own palettes online i've only purchased this one the uh, makeup forever deeply discounted or clearanced item at tj maxx and then the artist 2 eyeshadow palette that was online on sephora.com for i think like 33 dollars so it had nine yeah nine shadows in there so i purchased the, just these three things so I don't know we'll see we'll give I have not you know dipped my brush into them and started playing and trying them out but some of these deals and this was actually the start of it because I love the fancy face and she has I think every single shadow they make and she speaks so highly of them and she purchased this and um, it was during the I don't know if it was VIB appreciation or what it was but this was $59 and then you got the extra I think 15 or 20 percent off and so I had this in my loves and I immediately put it in my cart and was like I'm gonna take the splurge since I purchased this like I said I got the cheeky trio and then I got the other one and I can't wait because I think that I'm gonna be utterly happy with these makeup forever shadows and i'm sure throughout the holiday season you saw this watched and you saw it raved about and reviewed but crazy love cosmetics has their hand on hands on their very own i will be trying it out who knows it may be in march favorites because it came with a little of course book because makeup forever is the uh brand that I'm putting a little bit more coins into uh, this year to try out and really test out some higher end products for you guys and girls. So that's it. If you made it through, whoop, whoop, exciting times, limited edition Lollapalooza, comment below. Let me know if you enjoyed this, if this is something that you really like. Again, this was more so like holiday stuff, limited edition palettes, that I just pulled together. I still wanted to give you my honest opinion on why I hauled them and made the purchase and to let you know that a lot of these products you can still purchase individually, but you know, sometimes it's worth giving that limited edition or that holiday set or just any sort of set a chance, right? Why not? So again, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. Have a great one. Bye.